Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher and today we're working with the positive mind so that's our can-do attitude and if our positive mind is strong we're able to take on any challenge and we're able to succeed in it. Now sitting just before the positive mind is the negative mind and that's our protective mind, it keeps us safe so that's the mind that jumps in before we embark on any project just to make sure that we're doing the right thing for us but as you can imagine that can become perhaps a little limiting, it can put up barriers where perhaps there are none. So today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya pushes through the negative mind and lands us solidly in the solid mind, um, in the positive mind, so we can achieve whatever we want to achieve. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good rub and bring your prayer mudra into the heart center. Nice tall spine, shoulders relax, chin tucks in, eyes roll up and into the third eye point in the center of the brow. Deep inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale tall through the spine. Keep that length as you exhale. And let's inhale to tune in. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Gure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Sidi Guru Deve name, Ad Gure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Sidi Guru Deve name, Ad Gure name, Jugad Gure name, Sat Gure name, Sidi Guru Deve name, Deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your positive mind to guide you through today's practice and to keep you safe from injury. Exhaling, relaxing the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra, index fingers touching thumbs, just allowing those mantras to settle. And now we're going to start our practice with an aeroplane posture. So our left arm comes up and out 60 degrees with the palm up. Our right arm comes down the same angle with the palm down. Relaxing the shoulders, drop the awareness down into the heart center. And it's a long, slow, deep breath here as you hold yourself steady in the heart. That's it. So the left arm is angling up with the palm up and the right arm is angling down with the palm down. The awareness is in the center of the chest. As we're bringing into balance these qualities of giving and receiving. So this one we're receiving through that left palm and we're giving through the right palm. And that exchange happens at the heart center, Anahata Chakra in the center of the chest. And very soon you're going to perhaps feel this as a challenge as you hold the arms very still. And this is your opportunity to push through the blocks of the negative mind and to establish yourself firmly in those qualities of courage and determination and can do that we find in the positive mind. The more challenge you feel, the deeper the breath needs to be. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more band. That means squeezing anus, sex organs, squeeze the pelvic floor up, pull the navel in, stretch that energy up through the spine, hold the posture, hold the breath, squeeze. 
and exhale. We'll change our aeroplane wings now. So right arm lifts up, palm up, left arm comes down, palm down. And again, we relax the shoulders. We find that angle directly through the heart center. Now we're receiving through the right hand that's up and we're giving through the left hand that's down. We're finding that balance between heaven and earth as we breathe very long, slow and deep holding our awareness at the center of the chest. Often we can give a lot of ourselves or perhaps we're a taker and perhaps we prefer to receive than to give. And this particular Kundalini Yoga posture just teaches us to balance all things in balance. As we give, so we receive. As we receive, so we give. Bringing those qualities of giving and receiving into balance at the center of the chest, Anahata Chakra. And you know what to do with that challenge. You're pushing through the negative mind, the mind that says, oh, I want to take a break or I want to drop the arms. Push through that negative mind and establish yourself firmly in positive mind. This is where our Kundalini Yoga Kriya begins. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns, squeeze pelvic floor, pull navel in, stretch up through the spine, hold the breath as you lift up tall through the spine, hold the posture, squeeze, stretch the arms. And exhale, float the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra. Just feeling that energy in the arms, feeling that activation of energy in the body, just relaxing here. Allowing that integration of energy. Balancing those qualities of giving and receiving. Staying present. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. And we extend our arms out to the sides. This time it's all about receiving. So the palms face up to the sky. Relax the shoulders, spine is long, and it's a long, slow, deep breath here. This time we hold our awareness in Vishuddha Chakra, in the throat chakra. And we receive all that healing in the throat. Now this is a particularly challenging posture, as you will soon start to experience, perhaps in the shoulders or the upper arms. And it's in postures like these that we really need to find our way through those challenges posed by the negative mind. And we need to push forward into the positive mind. Establish yourself there. Establish yourself in determination. In this can-do attitude. In this everything is possible attitude. Because that's the attitude you need to succeed at life. To see yourself through any challenges that life throws. That's the positive mind that you need to succeed, to achieve. Stay with it, even if this gets very challenging, just root down into that store of inner strength. Use your breath, take really nice, full, deep breaths and see what you can do. Keep going. Stay in Vishuddha Chakra, stay in the throat center. Keep the shoulders relaxed, as relaxed as you can. We're nearly there. And take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in, squeeze more buns, stretch from fingertip to fingertip. Hold it length and tall through the spine. And exhale, relax the hands down to the knees. Just take a moment here in stillness, really feeling that energy coursing through the nadis, the energy channels in the arms. And come all the way down now to lying flat on the back, resting on the back. And just relax here for a moment, staying present, staying with that experience of energy in the arms. 
allowing that healing in the Anahata and Vishuddha chakras. And take a deep inhale. And exhale fully. Now we're going to bring our hands with the palms down underneath the buttocks. This is to protect your lower back for this next exercise. We remain lying on the back and we have our knees in our chest. So the palms under the buttocks, palms down and the knees are in the chest. Now we're going to exhale one leg out directly along the floor and inhale the other leg out directly along the floor. So you're kicking alternate legs out along the floor with a very powerful breath, inhaling one leg out, exhaling the other leg out. That's it, leg thrusts, alternate leg thrusts. This is really great for the digestive system, for releasing any toxins in the intestines, in the lower digestive tract. Steady thrust with the legs, kicking out everything that no longer serves you. That's it, kicking those legs out along the floor. You're doing really well, stay with it. That's it. If you feel the lower back pushing down, uh, lifting away from the floor, if you're feeling this as a tweak in the lower back, just raise the legs up a little bit. Find an angle that you need that doesn't compromise the lower back. Stay with it. You're nearly there. And inhale, both knees into the chest. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more bond, lifting through the spine, that energy, consolidating that energy. Squeeze yourself tight. And exhale, relax and release the legs all the way down to the earth. Release the arms. And just relax. Let the navel settle. Let that energy settle. Relax into the earth. Feel that weight in the body as the body releases toxins. Deep inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale, knees into chest, wrap arms around knees. Give yourself a big hug and a rock from side to side. Just ease out the navel, ease out the lower back. And then tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees and rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine a few times until you come all the way up to sitting. And we're going to come all the way over onto all fours here for cat cow. So your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Your knees are directly under the hips. Knees are hip width apart. And you're just bringing your big toes to touch behind you. On the inhale, drop the belly down. Lift the sit bones and the chin. On the exhale, arch the spine up. Tuck in the sit bones and the chin. Inhaling, belly drops down. Exhaling, spine arches up. Nice, full, deep breaths. As we start to warm up the spine, take it slow. Take this breath really nice and deep. Working all the way through the vertebrae. Keeping the eyes rolled up and into the third eye. And as the spine starts to move, uh, starts to warm up, you might want to move a little bit more dynamically or stay here if you're comfortable. But if you want to get that energy really going, powerful breath, powerful movement. Get a nice undulation through the whole of the spine. Get that energy moving. Release any stuckness. Nearly there, stay with it.
Go at your own pace, but make sure your breath is full and deep. On the next inhale, dropping belly down, lifting chin and sit bones. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through more buns. Stretch tall through the spine, arching the spine down, heart shining forward. Hold it, squeeze. Exhale, sit back on the heels, bring the forehead down to the floor. If your forehead doesn't reach the floor, stack your fists. Otherwise, arms alongside the body. And just relax here in baby pose. Breathing nice and deep into the belly. And you'll feel this as a lovely stretch in the sacrum as the sacrum swells with every inhale and relaxes and releases with every exhale. Grounding through the third eye point, through the Arjuna. Inhale deep, exhale fully, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, gently lifting yourself up to sitting. Now th this next one has a couple of variations. So if your knees and your hips are feeling flexible and strong today, drop down between your ankles, sit your hips on the floor, and we're going to be folding back, lying on the earth with the arms stretched up above the head. Not everyone is so comfortable with this on the hips and on the knees. So if that feels too challenging for you, bring yourself into easy pose and come lying on the back with the arms stretched up above the head. And it's a long, slow, deep breath here. Bring the palms together in prayer mudra. and just relax. If this is really strong on your lower back, release the posture. You don't want any kind of damage on the lower back. No pressure on the lower back here. So either drop down to the rung before, make your adjustments, or release the posture completely. But keep the palms together, keep the arms stretching up above the head. Take a deep inhale. Hold that posture as you squeeze more bun. Feel sense, imagine that energy moving all the way up the spine, up the arms, up to the fingertips. Hold it, squeeze, stretching that energy along the spine. And exhale, relax, release. If you're in easy pose with the legs, just relax and release the, um, the legs into your knees. If you're in celibate pose, sitting between the hips, uh, between the heels, bring yourself up release the legs and come back down bring the knees into your chest and just take a little rock from side to side here with the knees in the chest just to massage the lower back that's it gently gently rocking from side to side Stay with it. And now tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees and we'll do a couple rocking up and down, up and down along the spine from tailbone up to the cervical vertebrae. Just massaging the full length of the spine here. Hands tucked into the creases behind the knees and we're just rocking up and down along the spine. Until you rock all the way back up to sitting. And from here, we're going to drop the chin to the chest. Open the eyes to gaze softly down at the lap. And we're going to come all the way up to standing. 
So you're standing very tall and you're planting your feet hip width apart and you want to get your, your big toes slightly angling in towards each other. So you're slightly pigeon toed in this standing posture. Now we're going to extend the arms straight up with our index fingers extended and our thumbs crossing. So it's um, interlaced fingers, index fingers extended. We're stretching up tall and we're making ourselves really tall and long here with a long, slow, deep breath, stretching up really tall, lengthening up through the spine with a slow, deep breath reaching up into your higher consciousness, reaching up into your positive mind, bringing all of those qualities of perspective, of determination, the positive mind moving through you, bringing you into an achievement, a realization of your dreams. Keep the eyes at the third eye, keep stretching up, stretching up, stretching up. Get yourself really tall here. With every inhale, see if you can lengthen a millimeter taller through the spine. That's it, keep growing. We want to leave today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya at least a millimeter taller. Stretch up, stretch up. Every inhale, a little more length through the spine, a little more length through the body. Keep stretching. Reaching upwards to the higher self. Inhaling deep. Hold that breath in, squeeze more buns, stretch up tall, lift it, hold it. Exhale, float the arms all the way down so the arms are hanging loose by the sides. Just take a moment here. Feel the feet grounded firmly on the earth. Feel that energy flowing through the body. And on the next exhale, drop the chin to the chest, open the eyes to gaze softly down at the lap and we'll come down to sitting, whether you're sitting in rock pose on the heels or you're sitting in easy pose with the legs crossed. The hands are in Gyan Mudra on the knees. The eyes are softly closed. The spine is tall, chin slightly drawn into the neck. So the back of the neck is long and it's a long, slow, deep breath here as the eyes roll up and into the Ajna, up and into the third eye point. And we soften into the breath. Meditating on that flow of breath in the body. Feeling the expansion of the inhale and the drawing down and in of the exhale. The expansion of the inhale connecting us to the heaven. And the drawing down and in of the exhale connecting us down to the earth. And so our body becomes a bridge between heaven and earth. Our body becomes a complete balance of giving and receiving. Our body bridges the finite and the infinite. Take a deep inhale, exhale fully and come all the way down to lying flat on the back for a short Shavasana, stretching yourself out, palms turn up, shoulder blades shuffle together and down the back, chin tucks in so the back of the neck is long on the earth, relaxing and releasing the whole of the body. 
Relaxing and releasing the toes and the feet, heels and ankles. Relaxing and releasing calves and shins, knees and thighs. Relaxing and releasing buttocks and groin, pelvis and pelvic floor. Relaxing and releasing the abdomen, the navel, the solar plexus and diaphragm. Relaxing and releasing ribs, lungs, heart. Relaxing and releasing collarbones, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back. Relax and release into the earth. Relaxing and releasing upper arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers, thumbs. Relaxing and releasing neck and throat, jaw, teeth and tongue, lips, cheeks, nose, ears and eyes. Relaxing and releasing forehead and scalp, skull and brain. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the central nervous system the whole of the body, giving yourself full permission to completely surrender, let go and allow the body to integrate all of your hard work. We'll rest here in silence for just over a minute and I'll be here on the other side to guide you out. Just relax. Gently wriggling the fingers and toes. Rotating wrists and ankles first in one direction, then in the other direction. And taking a deep inhale to stretch the arms up above the head, point the toes, stretch. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale, one knee into the chest, exhaling it to the opposite side, turning the head, breathe into that twist. Inhale to center, exhale down. Inhale, opposite knee into the chest. Exhale, across the body, turning the head. Breathe into that twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, down. Inhale, both knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the knees, rocking from side to side. And then tucking, uh, bringing palms of hands together, soles of feet together. Give them a good rub. Bring yourself back into your body and tuck your hands into the creases behind the knees. Rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine. And come all the way up to sitting. Nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, spine is straight, chin tucks in, palms together in prayer mudra at the heart center. And we'll close this Kundalini Yoga Kriya with Sat Nam, Truth is my name. Take a deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Bring the palms to the floor, allow the forehead to bow down as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to body, mind and breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga practice today and coming back into the room whenever you feel ready. Satnam, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like and if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I have plenty more to share. Have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Satnam.